Hey guys, Phil here, and this is a review for the YZEN iPhone 6 glass screen protector. So here's what you'll get. The tempered glass screen protector and a couple of wipes. It's short on instructions, but the numbers here will help you out. Let's talk about specs first, and then I'll show you how to apply it to your phone. The thickness is 0.63 millimeters, so it's super thin. When looking through the glass, I don't see a ton of reflection or haze, so it has good clarity. This is supposed to resist fingerprints, so I'll put my thumbprint here. As you can see, my fingerprint still shows up. Using a cheek test, there's a lot less smudging left behind than the plastic screen protector on my LG G2. Now for the scratch test. I've got a ballpoint pen, so I'll just draw a few circles here. And there's no scratches. So next I'll try my keys, since sometimes your keys and phone will find themselves in the same pocket. And no scratches show up there either. Next I'll show you how to apply this to your phone. If you've never applied your own screen protector, you'll want to make sure you're working in an environment that is as dust free as possible. There's nothing worse than a piece of dust getting stuck under your screen protector and leaving annoying bubbles that you can never get rid of. One way to do this is to apply the screen protector to your phone in the bathroom after taking a hot shower. The steam from the shower traps the dust particles in the air, so there's not as much floating around. First you'll use wipe number one to clean off your iPhone screen. It's the wet wipe. Then use wipe number two to dry it. Once your screen is clean, peel off the top part of the clear backing on the screen protector to expose the adhesive surface. Carefully line up the top edge of the glass with your phone screen and slowly lower it onto the surface. Peel the backing off as you go and gently press on the glass to remove any air bubbles. The glass is slightly flexible, but don't try to bend it or it could break. And that's it. The tempered glass resists scratches and oil, though it's by no means fingerprint proof. The other thing I didn't test is impact resistance, since those claims are hard to prove, and it really depends on how you drop your phone or what is dropped onto it. I hope you enjoyed this review. You can ask me any questions in the comments. I'll put a link to the product page in the description below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and join me next time.